Hello there internet, version 2 here with Let's Play Yakuza 0. Today is Saki's training, the new girl that we got from Club Jupiter I think it was. The girl who has the awesome like gold bangles going up and down her legs. And again, another girl that has that similar half wrench look, even on the same side as both of the other two. You ready to talk Saki? Hi. So yeah, let's just do a bunch of training. Yeah. Remember, you gotta treat me like a regular customer, okay? Mm. Might be difficult, but I'll manage. So you're the work, you're the overworker, right? I'm Saki, let's have a great time today. You got an open direct way of talking. I like it. Here we go. Yeah, she's the she's the work crazy person, so, so we've got this. Can you tell me something about yourself? What do you do on your days off? <laughs> you have days off? Sleeping? I like how the idea of work-life balance here is I'm not tired during work. Did you play sports as a kid or something? That's alright. <laughs> Guess there's a reason they call you BCB Saki at Club Jupiter, isn't there? ね、体力には自信があるんです。今でも毎日ジョギングは続けてますし、たまに友達とテニスや山登りをしてます。<笑> I'd say that even if it was the wrong answer. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with sporty hobbies, I think they're cool. Yeah? Everyone gives me a hard time because they're not very cute things to do. Yeah, but people can be dickheads. Screw them. Not many girls in our industry are into that, so it makes you unique, Saki-chan. You've got to be proud of it. Yeah, okay, just going to put the camera at a good spot for when it changes over. Thumbnail reasons. You're, you're a very accepting person. Yeah. I can make a thumbnail out of that. It'd be better if I could do it at the start, but it doesn't say panda at the start, but I will. Any other hobbies? <laughs> I feel like all three so far have mentioned cooking as being a hobby. Cooking? That sounds pretty domestic. Maybe that'd be a subject you wouldn't feel bad about bringing up. Just bring up the other ones. And if people don't like it, fuck them. Um, just what? What's up? Nothing scores more points than being a good cook. What's your specialty? I don't know. Karage? Haha, <laughs> I love karage. Okay, Google. What is karage? Karage. Uh, karage, uh, meaning tang fries, a Japanese cooking technique which involves, which is, in, which, in, in which various foods, most often chicken, but other meat and fish, are deep fried in oil. Oh, okay. Uh, it's, okay, it's not telling me more about it. Uh, oh, there we go, okay, deep fried in oil. The process involves lightly coating small pieces of meat or fish with a seasoned wheat flour or potato starch and frying in a light oil. Dude, this looks delicious! I'm saying this is a vegan, this shit looks delicious! That looks great! I love karage. Mm -hmm. That's adorable. And delicious. It's like popcorn chicken, but like, fancier. <laughs> chicken's good and fried chicken's better. Uh, are... Why I You're not gonna laugh at me? It's so simple to make, and so everyone laughs at me when I say that. Hey. Things that are simple to make are often the things that you can have special things with because you can make it in a unique way. Mm. No way! There's a technique to frying up chicken, right? The flavor, the temperature, the oil, the... Uh... <laughs> it's so sweet. I grew up surrounded by my brothers, so I cooked things that were easy to make in large quantities. I mean, my mom would cook something that'd be similar to that. <laughs> like a home-style popcorn chicken that has different, like... The seasoning around it. Like instead of just like wheat and flour and stuff, it's also got like cumin powder and stuff in that in there. 
Ain't nothing wrong with that. Heck, bring me some of that fried chicken goodness next time you make it. <laughs> Again, like I, I, I'm someone where it's just like, uh, and to, let's let's be perfectly honest. This comes from growing up poor. Simple dishes are things where you can make adjustments to them to make them really special because it's simple, and then it tastes completely different to the simple thing that you've always had. How do I, how do I get to know you a little better, Saki-chan? Growing up poor, you learn how to cook the simple things in very interesting ways. That's why my chili is really good. <laughs> you got any talents? Growing up around the brothers does that, I guess. Handling kids? Oh, that's good. Um, you'd make a good mom open a daycare. Can I be your bro? No, you'd make a good mom. You'll make a great mom someday. <laughs> Hope so. <laughs> that's good. At least, like, at least we haven't said that, and it's just like, oh, she's baby crazy or anything. I can't even imagine having a family. Yeah, Marjorie, but you're in a slightly different predicament, though. We gotta find a good partner first. Okay, calm down. I'm only 23, so I still got time. Exactly. Majima, don't try and date all of your stuff. Hey, and I'm only 24, Saki-chan. You're only a year older than me? Yeah, I thought Majima was older. I thought he was late 20s, but I guess not. You don't gotta act that surprised. I thought he was just significantly older than Kiryu. I thought they'd mentioned somewhere that like he had been in the accuser for a lot longer. Actually, Kiryu might be like exactly 20. Maybe, so it's still a four year difference, which for being in the Yakuza is probably a huge amount of time because, well, depending on when Kiryu entered the Yakuza, Majima could have been there for a lot longer. Let's slip the script. How about your weaknesses? Insects. Oh, Gonzo would not like you. With authority, <laughs> what kind of bugs give you the shivers? Every one of them. <laughs> yeah, fuck bugs. Poor Gonta. You hate him that much, huh? Cockroaches? I'll let you in on a little secret. I kind of lose my shit when I see a big bug too. <laughs> Shotgun. We talking roaches? I'll come squash it. I can swing by with the shoe of death if you want. <laughs> you really do that for me? Sorry, wouldn't be quite proper me to show up at a girl's house now, would it? If it's <laughs> If it's for killing a bug, it's fine. Seem awfully happy about that. Well, you just call Goro the exterminator Majima if you see one, okay? <laughs> so weird. So that's the thing. This, and this is part of growing up in Australia. And it's nothing specifically about anything here. It's just during summers, it is hot. Well, this is especially Sydney. During summers, it is hot and fucking humid. AKA the perfect fucking breeding for bugs. It's so, like you get to the middle of summer and you will see cockroaches on the footpath out in the street. Like, you're going, like, if you're in Sydney, and also, I mean, Sydney's kind of a gross city. It's just that, like, be, like, during, like, during winter, it's fine, because it cools down enough and the humidity goes away during winter here, um, here, that there's not many bugs around, but during summer, it's hot enough and humid enough here that it just floods everywhere with, with bugs. Like, no matter where you are in Sydney, there's going to be cockroaches, and there's going to be cockroaches on the street as you're walking. So when you're, like, walking home from, like, the club or a pub or anything or friend's house in the middle of the night, just watch the footpath because you will see shitloads of cockroaches. And it's just, like, I mean, like, there's also, obviously, it's Australia, so spiders. But spiders have a tendency to just chill and do their own fucking thing and not bother you. Cockroaches don't give a shit, so... And, like, I don't, like... My issue with cockroaches isn't that I find them overly gross or anything, it's just I break out in a 
really horrible rash when one touches me. So it's like while I'm walking, it's just like if one steps into my shoe and climbs up my leg, I'm just like fucking goddamn it, because I have a rash on my leg for like a week now because of the fucking damn cockroaches. It's like ugh, ugh. Just another way that the city's awful. Stupid fucking cockroaches. So something I completely forgot to do while we were in the whole thing last time, um, doing the training for Saki, I forgot to give her a makeover. So uh, let's fashion show this hell up. Um, so we have Yuki who's good at sexy and beauty, and then Aya's good at cute and funny. So we want her to be good at one one of theirs, and then good at another one of theirs. So then we've got like, then it's going like evenly down the sides. I don't want to change her dress. I really like the leg bangles. The leg bangles are great. I can just put it into someone else's dress and that's weird. But that's a thing that you can do. I can put someone I can just put every girl into that. Whoa, okay. That's that that, that was very different that one there. So we've got the yeah, these are all the standard ones. Then we've got those. The Chinese dress, the shoulder suit. Body comma put the other girl in. This one's a different one. And then the Q idol thing. This is a completely different thing. Look at the look at how this thing affects the stats. Drastically down on sexy and beauty, really high on cute and funny. Just drastically. Um That's up on sexy and beauty as well. That's up on funny and sexy. Well that's what I that's what I is wearing. I wanna Okay. Shoulder pad suit, that is up on beauty and funny. I don't think it looks great on her though. What about the Chinese dress? That is up on funny, down on set, down on sexy? Really? How is this not a sexy dress? There's tip windows and everything, okay. That's confusing. The long halter, down on funny, but up on beauty. Hmm. Belt a bit top. The lovely one piece. What counts as beauty and sexy and everything in this is confusing to me. Very confusing. I mean, there's always the other things that you can do to adjust the stats to get what, you, what you're what you actually after, but hey. I think I like the halter top. I think I like this. Then it just becomes a matter of choosing the color. I like the green one. I like the green that you stuck with for the Star Wars. Let's go with that. I just noticed how much... I thought the middle part of it was just like all like opaque black, but no, it's see-through black to see the bra. I did okay. Oh. All right, what have we got? What inquiry? Okay, so we've got up on beauty, so we want cute or funny to go up. I believe cute's already been. I oh know. I know the, the standard. They're both on triangle, so we want cute or funny to go up, and beauty's fine. I actually really like that. <laughs> uh, the medium, that there ponytail, straight long hair. That's only down on cute. That's weird. Okay, princess girls, braided. That is the wild effect on every stat. Trendy long, double buns. I like the short. I like the short. Just going for the short. We're going to go beauty and cute on this. Buy the item, yes. What color can we go? What if we just go full fucking anime? Got to go full anime with one person. Go full anime with one, at least. What if we just go Nero? What if we just go Nero? Fuck it, you look like Nero now. <laughs> DMC4 Nero specifically, because DMC5 Nero just gets Dante's haircut, which is bizarre, which is bizarre, but hey, now you're DMC4 Nero. Um, <laughs> makeup. Alright, um, I don't know if any of this actually affects stats, does it? And none of this affects the stats, so let's just look through and. Oh, that one. I think that was, yeah, that was that was the one that you started with. All right, let's gonna go for the there eyelashes. Um, modest eyelashes with a green tinge. So we're gonna have you with the green in that eyeshadow. Oh, that one. Go for that eyeshadow again with the green to it. That's the eyeliner. Sorry, eyeshadow. This is eyeshadow. Cheeks, nah. Lips, nah. All right, finish those accessories. Now we just need stuff that up does up the cute part more. 
We're gonna have one girl in a bunny outfit, surely. Headband is up, uh, does up the cute a lot. Makes everything else go down, but the headband maxes out the cute. What are, uh, other options we got? What the glasses? Oh my god. Oh my god. I think every girl we get, we get new clothing options too. Red apple. How's that knocked down? Beauty yeah, I don't understand this. Active heart. Little hearts. Gordy bangs. The little circle. I like the circle actually. And it, up, and it does up the cute. So that's good. Alright. What else can we put on that doesn't affect the stats too much? Pearls don't affect it. That just does up the sexy, so we'll do that, just in case, just in case. Having them balanced around to having other things is good. I don't think it would be possible to have all of them max out all the stats, but... Heart ring doesn't affect anything, so you can go for that. Watch. Oh my god. <laughs> Rare item not for sale, I'm literally about to... No, none of that. All those effects stats negatively. Whoa, I can put on the gold bracelet and actually max out three stats for her. Yes. Holy shit, we can actually do that. You're just bad at that. And the perfume. So I don't know what the perfume does, but hey, it does something. Boom! There we go. I really like the dress and the hair together. It might look a bit counterintuitive, but I like it. I like it. And yay, there we go. Saki all made over. Man, I'm just, I'm just like, I'm, I'm just grabbing these girls and just completely changing the, everything about their appearance, and they've got no choice in the matter. Like, look at the comparison of, like, the picture there and the picture of the faces that they've got here, and I'm just like, I'm just gonna completely change you. I, I apologize. But, hey, that's, we'll go back into the makeover. We've got training to do with Saki. That's the thing that we're gonna do. So, customer service two! Yeah! And then we go over to... Yes, there it is. I, I still have the guide. Because I'm still cheating at this. I'm still cheating at this. Are you ready for round two? Of course. I'll give it my all. Stupid hiccups. Remember, I'm a regular old customer, all right? It's good to see you again, Majima Sun. I hope you have some fun tonight. Lively as ever. I love that about you. Here we go. Oh my goodness. These stupid hiccups. Can I ask about what you think about relationships, Saki chan? That's good. I don't think interesting to say about relationships. <laughs> we'll see about that. First off, what kind of fella is your type, Saki chan? You like guys to be ripped. Someone who can take care of you. Someone like you. Someone like you? Totally me. Am I manly? Apparently, am I manly? Because yeah. taking confidence in it is the wrong thing, which seems more manly. I don't know. Would you say I fall into that category? I hadn't really thought about it. But now that you mention it, you are pretty masculine. You're dependable, and you have muscles. <laughs> Marshall is able to rock the ponytail and look masculine at the same time. Muscles are important after all. <laughs> Don't say stuff like that. You gotta make me think about it. Majima, stop trying to date every single one of your employees. When it becomes all of them, it's a bit weird. <laughs> Think about it. Think about what? <laughs> you dork, you're being so dense. <laughs> I'm a fawn, you dork. Huh? <laughs> what about the reverse? Any type of guy you just can't stand? <laughs> Most dudes who are manly are narcissists. <laughs> <laughs> You from Kyushu? I'm figuring that might be playing a part here. <laughs> I don't know where that is. Don't you think a lot of men suddenly change after you start going out with them? Yeah, Marshall would know about that, what? Yeah. What do you mean? <laughs> you talking about the clingy types? Make him spoil you or give him a chance. Make him spoil you. 
You're just gonna make those types wanna spoil you instead. That's like a princess. <laughs> I think my guy's actually looking for a girl who's gonna make him spoil her. Hetero relationships is so fucking bizarre. <laughs> <laughs> what are these practice sessions for anyway? Want to try it out? I'd be happy to spoil you. <laughs> Someone who thinks about yourself too, uh, thinks about other people too much to like and taking care of everyone else too much. Fair. There's a crying shame. It's nice to be spoiled sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> How many guys have you given a chance, Saki chan? What, you're 23? Ah. Average. What about back in your student days? Better bunch of them had a crush on you until they're in the friend zone because guys suck. <laughs> Sounds like you made it through your teenage years pretty unscathed. Did you never crush on anyone? Aww. Aww. <laughs> Aww. There's the drummer I was looking for. How come you never said anything? Oh, you just like watching him from afar. Well, that's something. <laughs> Did all that without saying a word to him? Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> You made his day, a little creepy. No, you should have signed it. You made his day. I'm sure you made that guy feel like a million bucks. Always nice to know someone cares enough about you to give you some chocolate. I imagine so. No doubt in my mind. And if he found out they were from you, he would have been over the moon. That's good. Why? Why does this always have to go where they're trying to date Majima? Or Majima's trying to date them? <laughs> Why is that always going to be the thing? Now you got me looking forward to it. Why is that always going to be a thing? Don't... Don't try and date all of your employees. When it happens with all of them, it's... You almost a pretty straightforward girl. But I think you got a wide-eyed innocent side to you. It's <laughs> <laughs> Normal. <laughs> Let's say you've got a date with a guy that you fell head over heels for. How's it gonna play out? <laughs> See? Boom. Innocent and a little scared, right? I mean, me personally, I just think there's no chemistry. But <laughs> I doubt he'd mind is apparently the right answer. <laughs> Japanese culture, I don't know, might, might, might be different. I'm also very different to the other people around me in terms of dating and everything, clearly. So, you know, my thoughts on the uh, my thoughts on this are clearly like unrepresentative of the average, and I get it. I doubt he'd mind a guy's gotta understand that you're nervous, and his job is to make you feel more comfortable. <laughs> Alright, calm down, Saki. <laughs> Now I'm the one who's being normal. A guy who can't handle a quiet date is garbage anyway. <laughs> I mean, I have no issue with quiet people, but I'm extremely extroverted. I kind of, I need that. Like I, I, like, I need to be able to talk a shitload. Like, a lot. Because I'm, I'm a crazy person. I'm a fucking weirdo. I've grilled shit enough for today, haven't I? Thank you, Marshall son. Good job. So let's see. <laughs> Perfect lesson. Having so much fun talking, I forgot I was training you. That's the same thing that you say to you, uh, Yuki. <laughs> I'm glad you had fun. Thanks to you, I really feel confident now. Hi. Yeah. Kick it up a notch. Look at all these free levels. I like how her HP is so drastically high compared to anyone else. And her party's really high too. Uh... Yuki's still my favorite so far. <laughs> disco, disco, it's time for the disco. The disco can never, never stop disco. I already made this joke. I already made this exact joke. Let's go for a dating practice. 
dating practice. I feel like Majima's the only person in this city who does dates with customers, with the hostesses who work there, because all the girls who come from other clubs seem to be confused that this is a thing that's happening. Sometimes you go on dates with customers and they'll have to and come and come into the club together. You gotta be able to have a good time. So today we're gonna practice disco. <laughs> Can't wait for disco dancing. Oh hell yeah, the Bowie one. Do it on normal. I did comp complete it on hard. I did not get three stars on hard. I probably just played it on hard. Seriously, I'm endlessly impressed with the quality of how good this mini game is and the quality of the songs they've got for it. Being like clearly inspired by actual disco 80s songs, but then having their own twist on them. She's getting most of her steps wrong. There we go, do the fan? No. No oh, fan, okay. I don't know how to do the fan fever time stuff. Ah, oh, fuck! Hit the wall. That doesn't matter because I'm doing really well. Yeah! I mean, it's not like a shitload of depth to this. Oh, I was on that way too early. The end of that really fucks me up. I'm never gonna get three stars on the hard difficulty for this one. The ending, the ending of that song really fucks me up. <laughs> but it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. How much disco have I done in this game? And I'm still not like super great at it. I mean, I'm getting three stars consistent, consistently on normal, so that's something, I guess. <laughs> Out of all of the different mini games and everything in this game, this goes probably one of my favorites. I can't believe how much some of them are just like completely ignored though. I mean, like, karaoke happens a bunch. In fact, it's the intro in the game to the fact that minigames are a thing. Disco gets, like, seven sub-stories and all of the date stuff. Well, actually, no, it gets more than that, because it gets the ones with Miracle as well, in, um, with Kiryu. It gets all of that. Even things like Pool get some of the dates here. And then you've got the batting practice, which has no sub-stories associated with it. No dates. It is just there, and that's it. A telephone club, part of the main story at one point, part of one of the five stars things. And also, like, seven sub-stories associated with it. Batting practice goes away. It's just, some of them get, like, completely lambasted, and then some of them are batting, um, and then some of them get, like, a million different things associated with them. Just find the difference interesting as all. Well. More training with Saki! As opposed to Sake. Alright, let's go another round, shall we, Saki chan Sounds good. I'll do my best. Regular old customer. I can do that. Hello, Majima san It's been so long. Let's have a good time today. <laughs> Hasn't been that long at all. Mm. Too like 20 minutes. <laughs> what are we gonna talk about today? <laughs> oh, you're gonna grill me. Alright, what do we got? Good thinking, ask me whatever you want. Fire it will! So many things to ask. What have we got? Oh, okay. My strengths. My drive, I mainly, what do you think? Apparently, my drive is the correct answer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking golf drive, but he probably means drive in mot motivation. I'm thinking like a golf drive. That seems true enough. I don't know you all too well yet, <laughs> Majima-san. He struck me as a man who won't stop until you get what you want. I mean, my whole plan is to take on the five stars, and I've already done that for- I've already beaten two of them. Oh, god, I've only beaten two. God, I've only beaten two. 
there's five of them. Ah, mm -hmm. It's fine, it's fine, don't think about that. <laughs> and what makes you think that? You can see it in someone's eyes when they're willing to work hard to achieve an important goal. You should really stop talking over them, they're literally voice actors. <laughs> People who have extreme motivation. You got a keen eye there, Saki John. <laughs> Took long enough for that to go up, jeez. Yeah! <laughs> Together we can defeat all. We, well, we already defeated your other co workers, and we only took you on board. I apologize to all the others who are now out of a job because I didn't take them because I only took you. <laughs> already run out of things? That's not much. That was barely anything. <laughs> My dad dull to you? No! The answer is work every day. But the real answer is no! No! That's stupid! No! Work every day. <laughs> From a business perspective, it'd be great to have you here every day. You're a hard worker and a populist. It'd be a no-brainer for us. But the last thing we want for you is to get sick from pushing yourself too hard. So you gotta do what's right. Don't burn out. Don't work every day. Club's revenue is its lifeblood, but you ladies are the heart and soul that keep it pumping. I'll make sure you stay in good shape. Sounds like a very different response to work every day, but here we are. <laughs> Alright, enough cheating. Why don't you ask something that might be fun to talk about with your customers? It's always the dating. I mean, maybe that's Cabaret Club. Maybe that's just Cabaret Club when they're talking to actual customers. It's constantly about dating and stuff like that. But I mean, as the boss, it's weird, yeah. You went straight for the jugger on that one. Guess that's what I should expect from Club Jupiter's number one girl. She's not Club Jupiter's number one girl anymore, is she? Club Jupiter ain't even a thing anymore. And then she thinks me like I was complimenting her aim. Perfection. <laughs> anyway, what was the question? What, what I want a girl to do? Maybe cook for me? I know it sounds dumb, but I think that's something any guy could appreciate deep down. Uh, I'll just stick to cooking my own chili, sorry. It's all I do, it's all I do. That being said, I've not cooked chili for like two weeks. I've not been working enough to actually have the money to afford to buy my chili. I know my chili's dirt cheap, but like, my dinner for the last week has been either baked beans or hash brown sandwiches. So, I haven't had the money for chilies, but give it like a week and a half from recording this, and I'll work enough to have, to be able to afford my chili. Again, I miss it. I, I I know, I know. I said it's been like two weeks since I last had it and I already miss it. I love it. I love it, alright? Chili's good. It's good fucking chili. <laughs> I have to make my specialty for you next time, Marshall Massage. Do you remember what it is? Karate! <laughs> Katsuage, Kakiage, Karage. Not speaking Japanese makes this easier because it's easier to remember which one it is. Fried chicken! Yeah! Specialty of fried chicken. Yeah. A karage lover like me? Like I'd forget. Besides, how can I forget something you told me, Saki-chan? <laughs> he already asked for some. I can smell it already. As I said, my mum makes like... It's probably not the exact same, but it's like a deep fried popcorn chicken kind of thing. And it's similar to popcorn chicken, but again, there's things in the spice that it's really good. Cook up a giant fucking bowl of rice with it, it's really good. I'm excited, I haven't eaten it for like two years because I've been. Oh no, no. No, I've only been vegan for like just over a year. But still, I haven't eaten it for ages. <laughs> Should I be scared? Last question. That's the easiest question that we've ever had. Next good question. Worthy of a great philosopher, Majima. <laughs> of the great philosopher, Majima. Yes, obviously. Again, okay, so if the right answer was no, I'd probably still say yes and fuck the perfect lesson. Of course, men and women can be friends. I mean, I'm sure most of the time, one side of the equation wants something more, but you gotta figure that romantic feelings aren't the only kind of love there is in the world. There's love between a teacher and a student, love of family, love between friends, there's all kinds of love. 
Assuming that every relationship between a man and woman's got to end up in romance is pretty small time thinking. Hey, Majima, you're a decent person. Thank you for not being a total dick, Majima. That's what we're thanking him for. Answering your questions is tough work. Did I make it through okay? Yeah. <laughs> I like girls to cook for me and we can be friends. It's not a great deal of difficult questions. That'll do for today. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect lesson. Because I'm cheating. <laughs> We're having so much fun talking, I practically forgot I was training you. Glad you had fun. Thanks to you, I really feel confident now. Keep it up. Yeah. Yeah. More training. More free levels. It didn't even knock up the party stat. I mean, it's already incredibly huge, but damn. Unfair. We're gonna have even more party. That being said, I'm currently targeting Club uh, Mercury, who seems to be mainly talk, which is actually really good, because most of the people I have are really good at talk. Especially Etsuko. Oh my god. She's like the best of talking ever. Ever. Time to see if we can make up for the dismal performance that we had with Ayat Pool. Despite... It being a perfect lesson and winning. I don't get the pull. Alright, let's go. Let's practice battle over nine ball. So I don't get how this works. Is it just whoever thinks the last one wins? Because that seems weird. Because I did really poorly last time and somehow still won. Uh, no. I'm still not going to play this tutorial. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at my banking skills. Oh, I- oh! Oh, she goes first? Oh. Okay, I thought it was whoever got the closest to it. Oh. Okay, never mind. Man. Look at the way that they show off the goals when they go first. Yes. <laughs> Sunk number six and number three! That's a bad thing? <laughs> no, apparently not. Okay, I really don't get how this works. I could read. I, I know how. I know how stripes and solids works. I just don't know how the other stuff works. Okay, so way over there. It's not too much of an angle, but we want to go a bit powerful. Boom! Wow, more of an angle actually. Damn. Okay, that was kind of terrible. <laughs> oh well. I'm not good at the pull on this clearly. Whoa, look, look at the fancy footwork you got going on here. I mean, it didn't do much, but it was fancy. Would have been fancier if anything went in at any point. But, you know, still fancy. Okay. A sharp hit off to the side. Uh, not the most powerful, but pretty powerful. Bam! Look at that. I mean, that was a really easy shot, so that's fine. Where's two? Just do that blue one? It is. Well, I'm not getting in, that in without getting that in as well. Um, okay. Uh, just hit it on the side as much as I can. As powerful as I can. And hope for the best! <laughs> so I'm never going to do as well as pull as the first time that I did that in video. Because it was the most perfect yeah. thing ever. So any performance from theirs is going to be a disappointment. Yeah, okay. Okay, that was actually a really good shot. <laughs> hit it on the side very perfectly. But ah, oh, well. Ah, oh, well. Well, three's already done. Don't worry, I'll sing something at one point, some point. No, I sunk, I sunk one. Hey, as long as I sink number nine, which is sitting right next to a hole right now, it's fine. Which means if I, if I don't sink eight, then I probably won't get it. So, you know, there's that too. Um, oh, so close. Oh, don't hit the nine. Does sinking nine immediately lose? I don't know how it works. <laughs> I'll read the instructions for nine ball at some point. I won't. Oh damn it, I've set up another one of these shots for you. Oh, didn't go as well for you that time, actually. Oh, sink the nine. Or sink the white ball, that works too, I guess. Mm. Foul. I was kind of hoping she'd sink the nine and that would mean that she lost. Okay, uh, is that lined up? It is. Oh, whoops, I meant to just go in, okay. Boom! There it is. Line it up and just... Oh, fuck. fuck, okay. Sinking the nine might lose it. I don't know. 
So I'm just gonna clip this. Boom! Go somewhere nice. I'm just scatterballing it at this point. Not yet. I'm just hoping I sink the eight. I know I should be putting all my bets onto that, because from here she can sink the seven and then the eight and then the nine, but hey. I'm bad at this one, so fuck. <laughs> Look at this crazy shit she's doing. Yes! Didn't sink that. Okay. Oh, come on. Line that up perfectly. That's not lined up perfectly. I have to angle it a bit and actually get it right. I'm bad at the banking and stuff like this. Clearly. Oh, fucking. Don't go in. Don't go in, you bastard. Don't go in. All right. Well. Final shot lined up. Hard for it to be lined up more. Boom! Don't go in. Oh. Does that win it for us? I sent the last one. Is that, is that how it wins? Look at the replay. Look at the replay of it being lined up for me the entire game and the eight ball being lined up for me pretty well. Did I win? I don't know how who wins in this. I had more accuracy. Yay! Yay! I bullshit my way into another victory. Hell to the yeah. Uh, man, if you sunk that eight, I would have been fucked. And if you didn't sink everything else for me, I would have been fucked. <laughs> Thank you for lining it up so I can take it right at the end after you do way better than I do. You did not get great tips on it. The great tips on how to play pool is to let your opponent win it for you and then steal it from them at the end. That's, that's your tips. It's not that great, honestly, as a suggestion of how to win. Only a little bit more training left for Sal. Yeah, just, yeah, just ignore that heavy keys. There. You order the shit's weird. Oh, sure. <laughs> you ready to go another round, Saki Chan? Sure thing. I'll do my best. Remember, I'm Majima, a regular customer. Okay, got it. Oh, Majima san, how have you been lately? I hope we have lots of fun today. Yeah. We're doing well. What's up? So, Saki chan, you're originally from the countryside, right? How long have you been in Osaka? Damn, straight from high school living here on your own. Impressive. No money in the country? Or just because the city's fucking crazy with money? <laughs> Starting to put the pieces together. You work a lot, Saki chan. What are you saving for? Yeah, you do have a huge family, so yeah, sending them a bunch of money. And this is why you're working <laughs> all of the time. You send money to your family? Uh... So that's why you work every day. Because capitalism's fucked. <laughs> oh, yeah. Brothers is apparently the right response. Said like you almost forgot it. You mentioned you had a lot of brothers. Yeah, I mean, it was only in like the first one or something that you mentioned it. Having kids, very expensive. You're living a respectable life. Don't have to get a uni to be respectable. You're plenty respectable yourself, Saki chan. As much as people hang shit on jobs where the whole point of it is to talk to other people, it is very much a job that not everyone can do. Good God, I've worked for his hell and sent enough people come through to, to realize just how many people are just just not able to. Just not able to at all. You've been carrying all that weight on your shoulders here. You show up to work every day with a smile. <laughs> I ain't got time to bleed. What? With what days off do you have that? Uh, keep me posted. Keep me posted and keep at her. That doesn't seem that different. You keep me posted though. If things get tough, let me know. Let you have some days off work. 
Also, when you're working every single day, you definitely should be like working part time or full time. So you didn't be entitled to benefits. You you'd have you should have annual leave, and if you need time off, you can have annual leave, so you'll still get paid at least, or even sick days or whatever. But just so you know, I got your back. I'll help out somehow. <laughs> back at the grand, Marshima like paid for a dude's father's surgery, so the dude could and let the dude have some time off. So it's fine. <laughs> Also, I pay you guys like a million yen a shift, and I get about 40 million in return. Uh, so, you know, I can I can afford some of the money. And I get a billion dollars, seemingly from the Aether Sphere, for just beating another club. Or maybe I just steal the money that they had, like, in the bank or something. <laughs> Going back to what you said, you mentioned that part of your money is for your dream. What dream? Oh. <laughs> You want to go to university to yourself as well? How do you become a nurse anyway? I guess nursing school is a more specific thing than just going to a university for it. Saving the money to attend the nursing school? Majima? Hands the girl this money right now. You have over, you have almost two billion sitting on you. <laughs> they don't pay you like a million yen a shift. I mean, I know you have to pay for other expenses with that too, but if you're working every single day, you're getting like seven million a week. I don't know how much your other expenses are, but <laughs> I need you here. Four mil? No prob. I'll miss you. Oh, she, and she didn't mention that she's sending money home as well. So, no, I forgot about that. No. So yeah, even if I am, even if she has taken like seven million a week, although if it's four, like how much money of that would she be sending back so, for her savings of like four million to be a long time to save up for? Ah, sokka. And that feels like a conversation that doesn't actually take into consideration how much money their actual pay is each time. But I start going to school around time to work here. Well, yeah, that that's fine. If you'd make your dream come true. I just have to suck it up. <laughs> Marshman knows that not everyone can work here forever. Damn straight, I want you to be happy, Saki-chan. There are aspects of Marshman where he's kind of a dick as a boss, but there are ways where he is half decent. Again, he still takes a shitload more money than any of the others. So, you know. Is he still running the Grand? Is he still doing that? Or have we just forgotten about that because we don't need to run that place to make money anymore for Sagwa because that whole plant's gone to shit? <laughs> the nursing school um, makes you take some kind of test so you can get in. That's right. Complex work, I imagine. I mean, it's nursing, so yes. <laughs> Competition? Is Japan not a country that has like a massive medical shortage? <laughs> like there's not competition here in Australia because well, we need as many as we can because we're very low staffed in the medical fields. I mean like it's still difficult to do but it's not like you're competing for the few spots available. Like if you do well enough you've got something because it's a shortage of it. You need a plan. Although the shortage may actually come from funding and not from the amount of people who are trained for it. It might be both. Might just might just be that the government here puts very little money or planning or anything into the infrastructure of this country. And that's why a lot of parts of it don't work really well, despite the fact that we very much have the resources and the people power to actually do all of it. Hmm, weird. <laughs> just need a plan of attack. You should, uh, you, you should use past tests to figure out the kinds of problems they're gonna be asked and focus on studying them. <laughs> It's like you cheated on your exams by doing past ones before, Majima. Would Majima know studying techniques? No questions on the subject matter. I ain't got a clue. <laughs> Just how to learn. Alright, I'll, 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 I'll help you train to become a nurse. Hey, it wasn't about relationships for once. 
Holy shit! Gotta... Thank you, Majima-san. <laughs> it was a perfect lesson. Yeah, having so much fun talking, I practically forgot I was training you. Yeah, do your best. Boom, get a bunch of experience. Hell yeah. Your health, your HP is literally going to max out soon. It is going to be max. Well, the next training that we have for her is the last one, and then it's the sub story. So, yeah, I, I, I have no words. Like, just, yeah, it's gonna be a thing that happens, I guess. And time for our very last training with Saki. All the way to our special training. Customer service final. And get all this dialogue with these girls and I mean we're also gonna we're also gonna get the um sub story, so you know, we have more than just this. Real talk, you've had a handle on this conversation training since day one, so I said we make this the final session. <laughs> Understood. I'll miss not having our lessons, so let's make this one the best one yet. Yeah. Majima Sa, so good to see you again today. Let's have some fun. <laughs> I guess it's like, no, nah, you've been good. I don't need to train you. Again, it's weird that you're training the girls who were literally the best at the previous places that they worked at. Like, Yuki, I can understand. Because you see Yuki when you first get here, and it's like, yeah, her whole deal is that she's not that good at it because she works at a place that isn't that good, so the expectations aren't that high. And then you train her, the place becomes better, and she becomes better with it. And that's a whole thing that happens. And all the others, is like, you're the best at one of the best places here. Let me train you? It's like, what? No, that doesn't make sense. Saki-chan, how do you like the club? Have you settled in? Except we have pervy people because I've had that people people mentioned that before. <laughs> it's too good here. It's too good here. It's right to see you with a sad face. Ah, uh, um, you're so girly. It's cute, or it's not your style. So girly, because you had to worry about being girly before. You're, so you're a real girl after all, Saki-chan. That doesn't sound like a compliment. Yes. Yes. Huh? What's that silly grin you're wearing? Such a weasel. <laughs> you're a weasel. <laughs> You gonna clue me into what you mean by that? <laughs> I'm not telling you. <laughs> so that conversation did not go in a way that seemed like that was the right response. I don't get some of these responses. I really don't. <laughs> How's your savings uh, for your dream? Oh, also, I checked. I pay like 1.3 million between all eight people that I have working. So yeah, no, it's gonna take you a while to save that four million. Actually, yeah, the eight shift is. I checked the staff charges last time I did. No, it's about 1.3 million for all eight combined. And that was with my best eight, that one. So, no, I'm paying them fuck all. I also made, personally, Majima got to keep, like, 35 million. This is why boss... Like, even if Majima's a nice person to them all and everything like that, this is why bosses suck. Because I'll pay her, like, a couple hundred thousand yen for a shift. And then I take back like 35 million. Like I take back like 20 odd times more than what all of the other workers take combined. That's fucked up. How's your savings to your dream? Are you saving up okay? Give her 4 million, you fucking cheap bastard. Thanks to me. I'm ripping you off. Massively. Glad to hear it. And your family, they're doing okay with the money you're sending them? You know, until it crashes in a couple years from this point. Um, now you can study or now you can slack off. Study's the right answer. One less worry on your plate. Now you can focus on studying for that nursing school entrance exam. <laughs> Always work, never stop working. <laughs> I've been slacking off on studying recently, so I have to get back into it. Take a break, Saki, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Hit those books, I'm cheering you on. Quietly, of course. Thank <laughs> you. 
Like, it's the kind of thing where it's like, Majima is a good boss, but at the end of the day, he's still a boss. So, just by the nature of that, it's just like, you're good at the thing that is still bad. So, it's still overall a net bad. It's like with cops, just, you know, a good cop is still a bad cop, but even good cops basically don't exist. So, you know. There's that. Although I guess you could say the same for bosses. So, you know. So, Huggy Chan, after all this time laid on me, how am I doing? Do I support you? Okay. No. You don't pay her enough. You underpay them massively considering how much money you take home, Majima. You're sitting on 2 billion yen. <laughs> You're like our big brother. You deal with the bad drunk so well. They used to be my job at the old club. <laughs> Majima is good at throwing people at it. Something that he succeeds at well. No, I don't expect to get this game. Even though it takes place in the 80s during the hyper economy where it all crashed because of greedy fucks. And that was, that's kind of the whole point of the real estate thing. No, I still don't expect this game to have a massively heavy socialist bent on it. But come on, I'm going to while I'm playing it. <laughs> they had you doing something that dangerous? I had no idea. You've never mentioned this before. <laughs> what if you get hurt, you beat man? Arm wrestle me. <laughs> Okay, none of these, I don't like any of these responses, but <laughs> what happened if you ended up with a scar on your face or something crazy? Then that would that would just increase her sexy sad even higher. No, the scars would be sexier. It applies to men and women, that thing. You do this, I ain't talking about money, I ain't talking I ain't talking to you as a club owner. I'm saying this is a man who worries about you. <laughs> <laughs> You're important to me, Saki-chan. I ain't gonna let you get hurt. Listen up. If there's ever any kind of trouble at the club, you call me and I'll end it. You got it? <laughs> I mean, Majima is really good at beating the shit out of people. Better at that than running a business. <laughs> he even admitted it as such when we had um, the Jupiter person to beat. Majima... Is tries his best to be a nice person, but yeah. he always looks like Yakuza. <laughs> what do you mean, weird? Sounds like a fantastic quality to have. <laughs> do you not have any? Big bro, huh? Mm. You're like an adorable employee. The apple of my good eye, if you like. Stop everyone wanting to date. What was that? Can we have one where one of them doesn't want to date the other? Like, one. Like, Majima wanted to date Yuki, and Yuki was just, like, oblivious to it. But now we have both I and Saki wanting to date. Can we have one where they don't want to date each other? We had an answer to a question during the training with Saki about how men and women can be just friends. Can we have one of these, like, be an example of that? Please? No? Okay. Let's say we call it there. Got it. Thank you, Majima-san. <laughs> we got perfect lesson once again. Having so much fun talking, I forgot I was training you. When I mean, you kind of admitted that you weren't training her at the beginning of it. Really confident. Yeah. I'll kick it up a notch. And what do we got here? We got the sub story now. It just kicks us right into it, right? Like, I don't have to go somewhere for it. It just starts immediately. Honestly, God, I didn't even recognize you because of the different hair. <laughs> I'm so used to seeing her with the white hair that I'm just like, oh shit, yeah. Because I don't see her. In the cutscenes for taking on the other clubs, like I see Yuki and I taking on the other clubs a bunch because they're in the cutscenes for that. So I'm used to seeing them in both the outfits I've given them and that. I don't see Saki in her actual outfit anymore. And especially because the hair is so different, it took me a second to just feel. I thought someone else came running up to us. <laughs> Sorry, Majima son, I forgot I was supposed to meet up with a nurse friend of mine. She was going to help me learn about her job. I had to rush off, but I have to go. 
So I can pull that into stuff like a sponge. Say, uh, you're not inviting me somewhere, so am I stalking you again for this one like I did with Yuki? Because that's weird. Girl's such a go-getter. Just being right there puts a spring in my step. What What's happening outside? Is it just going to be fight and protect her for the substory? <sighs> Dream Chaser, you better watch where you're going. I'm sorry, I was in a hurry. Maybe you should... Uh-oh. Uh no. I, I have an appointment to keep. How about no, go away. You just going to plan to my buddy here and try to run off with a sorry? I think my arm sprains. I don't think that's... Show me. Your arm's fine if you can move it. Can I go uh... now? <laughs> no. Huh? Aren't you tough? Even I can handle a couple of goofs like you. I appreciate that you're not backing down. You think you're tough, huh? I guess we'll have to teach some sense to that thick skull. <laughs> oh, no, you've got a knife. Oh, you, oh you're that type of scumbag. <laughs> Maybe it is snooty because you think you're hot. I better come across that pretty face. He'll also take you down a notch. Oh, we're in this situation. <laughs> he just knocked out. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> oh, oh, there we go. We can see the dialogue. Majima, I told you I'd be here. <laughs> we'll talk later. Stay back. All right. <laughs> We got a superhero coming to this bitch's rescue. You can, you can't take both of us. You one-eyed fuck. Okay, okay, okay. I have a baseball bat. I'm not afraid to use it. Fuck you. Yeah, not the only one who can pull a big weapon in the middle of combat, huh? Yeah, fuck you. I didn't even get the bit. Batter up. Fuck it, stop on something on your face. Fuck you. <laughs> you're uh you're alright? I was literally within earshot. Why didn't you just call for help? Cause it was my fault. It wouldn't have been right to get you involved. Uh, alright, Marge, but I need to yell at her. None of that hot mess was your fault. And what if you got you with that knife? You could have gotten seriously hurt or even killed. I never heard of a dead nurse. Your family and friends who care about you suck, you Not to mention a dream you're chasing. How would I ever face your family? I had to tell them some news like that, huh? If you got hurt and couldn't work, you couldn't send money to your family. And forget saving up for school, not to mention the medical bills. That dream you're chasing could have gone all up in a puff of smoke. Unless you're willing to accept that, then you better call for backup you could count on when shit hits the fan. You leave that stuff to me. I'm the one who took on the responsibility of keeping you girls safe. You got that? Let me tell you something else. I admire how driven and hardworking you are. A girl with guts like you is one in a million. But I'd wish you rely more on me and the others. You gotta start treating yourself better. At least there's parts, right, where it's just like, yeah, you are overworking. You can help have other people help you. It's your dream and it's your burden to shoulder, sure. But in this life, you can count on friends like me to lighten the load, even if only a little. Deal? I'm sorry. Man, that was the whole sub story, hey? <laughs> Just a fight. She ran into it. Not as complex as eyes or Yuki's. I'm sorry I got so emotional. Nothing to be ashamed of. After a scare like that, anybody would be relieved. I do appreciate that the only reason that she wasn't able to handle herself in that situation is because one of them pulled a weapon out, though. Like, I appreciate where it's just like, oh, you're just two assholes? No, I can totally beat the shit out of you. I've got a knife, though. It's just like, okay, now it's understandable. <laughs> like, she mentioned how she was strong before and could deal with actually, like, she could deal physically on her own and that they didn't just have her in a fight and just immediately, like, not be able to. It's just, like, the only reason she couldn't is because there was a weapon involved, which, yeah, fair enough. You're right, though. I was taking on too much by myself. My family, my dream, my work, my responsibilities. I thought I had to do everything by myself. Well, when people give you a nickname that says how you're willing to do everything for everyone, yeah, I can imagine that would be an easy thing to think. <laughs> Majima-san, you told me that sometimes it's okay to ask for help. If I ever find myself in another hopeless mess, oh. will you help me? You just whisper my name and I'll appear. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> Thank you. I'm so glad I joined Sunshine, and I'm glad I got to meet you, Majima-san. I'm going to hold you to what you said, you know. Oh. No problem. You got me in your corner. Yeah. Uh. Oh. Oh no, I had an appointment. Bye. 
On your marks, get set, go! <laughs> You're running in heels. Are they heels? I can't tell. A real live wire of a lady. Keep running hard after your dream, girl. Yeah! Complete Saki sub story. That, the end of that sub story didn't feel as involved as Yuki's or Ice. But I appreciate, but I appreciate it a bit more. I mean, Ice was just about her wanting to date Majima, and Yuki's was about Maja being a dick and a creep to her again. So at least that one was just the big strong man comes in to defend the helpless woman. But she wasn't entirely helpless. She was like a little bit willing to help. Still not that much better, is it? So, on the next episode, depending on how the upload order of this goes, I'm really not sure. It'll either be Club Jupiter, oh, sorry, Club Mercury, depending on how that goes. That might be the episode before this, I don't know. Next episode, if it's not taking on Club Jupiter, it'll probably be going around finishing up the friendships of everyone. And then at some point, our next special training girl is going to be Hibiki from Club Mercury. Um, so, more, we're, oh, we're half, we're halfway, we're halfway through the special training, halfway. Even once we beat the five stars, there'll be more special training to do. Oh boy, time consuming process. So, until the next time, this is version two, signing out.